Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a multimedia map by using Padlet.com. Let's go ahead and take a look at it at Padlet.com. I'm going to log in to my free account and go ahead and get started here. Now, I've previously made a video about this in the past, but there's been some changes since I made that original video, so I thought it was time to do an updated one. Now, let's go ahead and make a Padlet, and we can see here our different options. Let's choose Map. And I want to change out this map style. And we can see that in the bottom right corner here. Now, if you don't see that modify panel open, you can go right here to that little menu on the right hand side and you can open up all of your settings. And now let's change our map style. You can see some of the different map styles that are available here for this one. I'm going to use the usual, which is loosely based on the Google Maps style. Now, all of these settings on the right hand side are optional. You can have attribution or not. If you're having your students work on this collaboratively, I would recommend turning on attribution. I'm going to leave comments turned off and I'm going to leave the reactions turned off as well. I don't want students giving thumbs up or thumbs down and things like that on the things that their classmates might add to this. Now, let's change this out. And our multimedia map here is going to be about vice presidents of the United States. And our description is going to be a map made by Mr. Byrne and his students. Now for a little icon, let's go ahead and choose one. We can use one of these kind of default emojis or we can add our own. Let's just use this nice smiley face there as an icon to appear in the upper left hand corner. Now let's scroll down a little bit further. And if you're sharing this with your students, so that they can contribute. I would turn on moderation and I would turn on filtering profanity as well when using this with students if you're inviting them to work on the map as well. So now let's go ahead and save that and we're going to close it out and let's start by adding our first marker to this map. Now, we can do this a couple of different ways. The simplest way here is just zoom in on the map in an area where you want to put a place marker. And then go down here to the bottom right corner. And you can drag that little pin marker right onto the map and it'll give you some suggestions based on how many things are near that marker you've dragged on. And I'm going to say Oyster Bay, New York. And now I'm going to write in some information here. Oyster Bay, New York, USA, Theodore Roosevelt, Let's make sure I spell Roosevelt correctly. There it is. Now, let's add some more information here. We can write in something like Theodore Roosevelt was from Oyster Bay, New York. This is where he spent most of his childhood. Now, I can add more information to this. Let's go ahead and see all the different types of 
media that I can add into this place marker. You can see here I can turn on my video camera and record something. I can take a picture with my camera. I can record some audio. I can also click on this YouTube link and put in a link to a YouTube video. I'm going to use this one here that I found before I started this video. And we'll add that as part of our place marker. And so now I have that little place marker with the video about Theodore Roosevelt. I'm going to publish that and we'll see. There it is. It's now on the map. Now, the other way that we can add place markers, let's go in and click on that option and search for a place. And in this case here, I want to search for Greenville, Tennessee. So I'll just do my search there. And that's going to add a marker onto the map. Now, because I'm zoomed in so much, we don't actually see it appearing on the map right now. And let's say Greenville, Tennessee. Andrew Johnson put in Lincoln's second VP and let's put in a link to whitehouse.gov's page about Andrew Johnson and so we're going to say link and just paste in that link and now Let's publish that and we'll see it's added it right onto the map for me. Now I can continue to add more and more place marks for all the vice presidents of the United States, but I want to show you down here in the bottom left corner, there's this little menu that allows you to see a list of all the places that you've added to the map so far. And before I finish this video, Let's do one more. Let's add in one more place. And I'm going to look for Paris, Maine. And we'll see there that Paris, Maine is not showing up in my search. So I'm going to say South Paris, Maine. There we go. And we will say Hannibal Hamlin. And then we'll add in Hamlin was Lincoln's first VP. And we can add in an image. Let's click on that image option right there. And we can do a search. But we can also grab something from our clipboard. And I want to point out if you go here, you can even go in and use a drawing function. But I'm going to, in this case, upload. I'm going to upload from my desktop a picture of Hannibal Hamlin's house. And so we're going to find that. There it is. And we're going to include that picture in the place mark right there. And now it's published and it's in the correct place. And we'll notice over here on the left hand side, it's now added in to the list of places that we have mapped. Now, finally, if I want to share this map with others, let's click on the share button on the right hand side. I can invite members by typing in their email addresses. Go there and add them in. Or we can change the privacy here and say that it's secret and visitors can write but let's change that out we can make it password protected and so only people who have the password will be able to write on it or we can say they can edit it or they can only read it for now i'm going to leave it as can write and i'm going to create a password like password in real life i wouldn't use that one and say that people who have that password and the link can write on the map. And I'm going to save that. 
And now I'm done. We'll see here. It's password protected. And here's all the ways I can share that link with people, copy that link to my clipboard, get that QR code. I can even embed it into my blog or website or share it on social media or Google Classroom. So that's how you can create a multimedia map by using Padlet. As always, for more things like this, please visit freetechforteachers.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel.